Hi, Nilu. Uh, we're so grateful to have you here to present your logo to us. I know you and Pam worked really hard and um, we're excited to see what you've come up with. Thanks, Sherry. Um, we're really excited to be here today. And um, I will be presenting for Pamela St. and myself. Um, so this project started about like two months ago when uh, the BPRG group, uh, you know, reached out to us to work on our branding idea. And um, I just want to talk about a little bit behind the scenes what went on before we actually started working on the specific, you know, visual piece. We um, did a visual audit, with, which um, basically involves um, looking at other psychedelic organizations, you know, whether they're institutions, whether they're, you know, um, certificate programs, um, Johns Hopkins, uh, MAPS logo, so just other sort of parallel groups and what they're using. We also looked at some logo marks in the wellness space um and you know and are there any similarities in colors or you know typography and just looking at some of those details and how people are representing themselves so after doing a bit of analysis and you're know, talking with bprg about um what sort of direction they wanted to go in um we went through a few rounds of you know presentation and different concepts and finally came up with the following logo that i'm going to go through with you Great. So first of all, you know, the project at hand was to create a visual brand for BPRG. And um, one of the main things coming out of the meeting was uh, talking about it as a research focused entity and not just a psychedelic entity, because there are a lot of those sorts of entities that exist in different cities. But the research angle and the science angle was definitely a different, you know, um, sort of something that they def definitely wanted to focus on for this. Um, the other idea that we were bringing to it is how do you communicate visually that you are having a transformative experience with the help of these psychedelic medicines, you know, you get from one point A to point Z or wherever you need to go. And how do you show that in a very simple way within a logo? Um, so in a way, combining, you know, science and design and art together just to separate them out. Some of these are opposing values, actually. For example, you know, the logo should be balanced and stable, but it should also be dynamic to show that transformation. It should be psychedelic, you know, referenced, but not having any expected psychedelic colors or, you know, references from the 60s and 70s. Um, it should be, you know, scientific sort of um, focus, but also, you know, artistic. Um, so again, like how do you bring all these ideas together and make it look uniform, even though some of them contrast with each other. Um, so we kind of went through a few iterations and um, this is what the group ended up with. And the reference here is, um, you know, a shape transforming and moving. It could be your brain uh, reference. It could be a wave. It is just movement, you know, from point A to B. Um, the color that was chosen was blue. We tried a few variations, but um, it's a cooler, lighter color. It's a medical color. Um, and something that has more of a science reference. And again, this logo is made up of many little pieces. So the idea of the individual versus the community, again, gets communicated through a mark like this. For the typography, we went with a very clear, sort of clean sans serif um, typeface. And this particular one is called Railway. It's a Google font, it's available online anyone has access to it and you know we like the nature of the idea that you know anybody can use it um, and hopefully that'll be something that the group can also play with down the line with the work they do um, so just putting them together um, I having the sort of wave idea move into the logo and into the actual words and for now we you know wanted to focus on Boston as a different color and in the future, if that needs to be replaced, you know, with just psychedelic research group or other cities adopt this logo as, you know, we spread around, then that is definitely an option as well that we were thinking of when we created this. So now the next few slides, I'm gonna take you through some applications of the logo. This is a black ink version. So let's say there wasn't a chance to reproduce it in color. Um, this is how it would translate into black ink only. 
um, if we are to reverse it onto a darker background, we want to see if it holds up, you know, in one flat color such as white. And um, this is an example of that. Um, and then there are a few applications onto actual products and um, materials, for example, business cards. And so nice. it's an idea of, you know, what you could do for the front and back of business cards, as well as a uh, letterhead template, whether it's a, you know, electronic letterhead or, or something you, you print out. Um, very simple to set up in Word. And uh, just again, being consistent with the sort of, you know, typography you use, even the type of the letter could be railway and could match the actual um, font used in the logo. So everything starts, you know, coming together more. And then uh, application onto the current website is using some of the colors to the website that already exists that Sherry built. And uh, <laughs> maybe just, you know, tweaking a few colors here and there, taking it from the logo and then adapting it onto the site. Um, and then just for fun, we started applying it to actual product materials um, to see, you know, how does it play in these different spaces, whether we're using a reverse logo, whether we're using the color logo and, um, you know, what are some of these things that we might use or produce down the line. So, um, but that's it. Um, you know, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, <laughs> just want to quickly go through the idea of, you know, what this logo is and how it came about. And um, yeah, back to you, Sherry. No questions. Just wanted to express our gratitude. Um, it looks really great. And you and Pam worked so hard on this process um, and it looks amazing. We're very excited to use them and just appreciative. And as Pam said, you are such easy clients and <laughs> so excellent to work with. And it was just a really very wonderful, you know, pleasing process. So thank you for that. Thank you, Nilo. Thank uh, you. I'm going to stop my share. Okay. Yep. Wonderful.